District. Congresswoman, again, congratulations on your victory. It was great to see you win that seat. Uh, let me ask you, you are now uh, about to be an official member of Congress. <laughs> when you were here with us on set, uh, you indicated you would not vote for Nancy Pelosi. Has your position changed? What are you thinking now? And what are you telling my friend Seth Moulton? Well, I came into Washington with an open mind. I said I want to hear all the information and I want to cast a vote that's best for the people in my state. Um, no one has asked me for a vote other than Nancy Pelosi. You know, last week we were here for orientation and we caucused and I was of the mind, put up or shut up. Nobody came to me and at this point I think it's unreasonable for anyone to expect a vote when they haven't even asked. So I am prepared to support Nancy Pelosi in caucus mm. tomorrow wow. when votes are cast. Well, that's amazing. Tell us how that happened. How did she ask you for your vote? Did she, did she ask you for a meeting? Did you go see her? Where did it take place? When did it take place? Well, last week I did have a face-to-face -face meeting with Leader Pelosi, and she laid out a platform and her vision for where we move. And I expressed my concern about, you know, people have spoken. They're looking for shifts in leadership. They're looking for some generational change. Many of the things I spoke about on the campaign. And we have to acknowledge that. We have to make a path where we are bringing people along and positioning people for leadership. And she acknowledged that she thought that was important. And she flat out asked me for my support. And I told her I need to hear all the information. And I was waiting mm. just to hear if anyone else would step up if anyone else would ask for a vote, if anyone else would uh, present a contrast to what she was saying, and that never happened. 